Right. Um, so yes, I'm here with Warren Ellis, who wrote Red for Wildstorm DC. Um, and we're talking about the film that has been adapted from the work. Excuse the state of me, I've been here all day and I'm sweaty. <laughs> Um, so uh, let's start by talking, how much involvement did you have with the adaptation from the printed page to the screen? Um, I kept my distance. Um, what I wanted to do was to give them the space to do an adaptation rather than be the pro standing on their shoulders saying it's got to be a translation, it's got to <laughs> be word for word, screw that. Uh, so I made myself available, I said if you ever need to talk, you've got my number, you know where I am, but otherwise it's, it's yours to run with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, luckily, uh, we looked into two incredible screenwriters uh, who produced just a wonderful adaptation. I couldn't be happier, really. Okay. Um, so did they did they tap you at all, or did you really just stay pretty much entirely away from it? Um, I remember a couple of emails and I think one long phone call. Okay. Uh, with them and I think Lorenzo and probably Greg Novak, uh, and that was it. Okay. Um, so you've seen the finished pro film, um, or have you? No, I've not actually seen. Okay. The finished film. So you didn't, you don't know how closely it follows, or how much it diverges, or <clears throat> read the script. Read the script. I've been on the set. <laughs> okay. I've seen a lot of dailies. Um, uh, it's it's sticking to the script, and the script holds the book at its core. Right? Okay. There's an expansion. There is a tonal shift. But the core story is still there, and the intent and the themes are still there, which is what is most important. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on the casting for the film? <laughs> what? <laughs> Other than a great, incredible. Other than best cast ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can you do? I, I mean, there's, there's not a cast like that in a film this year, and there's not been a comics adaptation with a cast like this ever. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, like I said, we are uh, primarily a comic book site, mm -hmm. um, so if I can just, for a second, um, what are you working on in terms of writing right now? What, what, what books are you working on? Um, just finishing off my last Astonishing X-Men okay. mini. Um, <laughs> I've just placed a new project at Marvel, but I don't have leave to talk about that yet. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed we'll run for at least 12 issues. Okay. Um, I have a couple more graphic novellas planned at the Opera at home of Avatar. Okay. But that's pretty much it. Aside from Freak Angels every week. Right. Um, I just spoke to uh, Cully and he said that he uh, is writing and drawing a red prequel. Yes. Um, and that he said it has your blessing. Mm. But, um, he I'd paid me. <laughs> Did you have any input on it? Um, yes, I told him how much he had to pay me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm blatantly screwing with you now. Yeah, I can tell that. Um. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, DC told us um, they wanted and or needed to do a, a prequel book or time book of some kind. Um, I didn't have a lot of time at the time. Um, I'm doing a lot of things. Right. And just as I was kind of swinging around to it, Cully said he had an idea he wanted to do. So I said, well, yeah, I'll get out of the way. I'll okay. be a writer. So, you know, it's lucky, really. He's created the space to really come into his own as a creator and to write for himself. He's well overdue. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's really all I've got then. Okay. Um,